Monday markets were mixed ahead of Thursday's Wadsey Report. Michelle Rook is back with where things closed and what to watch as we end the week in markets now. Greens ending mixed on Thursday. Don Rose is with us. And Don, I want to talk about the soybeans. We had a little bearish news in the WASD report on soybeans, but it looks like what? Either CONAB numbers trump that, or was that this play in rally in the bean oil? Well, I think if you look back, you know, the uh, the morning started with uh, CONAB coming out. We tried to rally uh, sharply on soybeans, uh, mildly up on corn, and then we uh, faltered uh, as we hit the USDA number. So, I think it was kind of a jump ball, um, you know, positive uh, CONAB numbers, uh, corn and beans, and then uh, just the opposite on the USDA with the ending stocks jumping up over 300 million on beans. Do you think that the soybean market is acting like it's trying to bottom at all? Well, I, it feels like it. Remember uh, June 8th, uh, we put in a low 11.75 and a quarter. Uh, weather turned uh, threatening and we rallied almost $2 in two weeks on soybeans. So, I think you're uh, when you went down today to a, or yesterday to 11 uh, 79, you know, it was a pretty good support zone. We're kind of basing here. Uh, most definitely, we need a catalyst. Yeah. We had kind of a push pull with the CONAB and the WASDE numbers when it came to corn as well. But, you know, the sum total is, is we still have a big carry out in the U.S. And so are we going to still keep seeing contract lows? Well, you know, I think we have to remember that, you know, there's a lot of uh, unknown on the South America crop yet. Of course, when you're lugging around the big carry out 2.2 billion uh, corn, roughly, you know, hard to be uh, positive. But 40% um, of uh, Argentine's corn crop went through uh, pollination with some really hot temperatures. And, of course, we have a lot of sathrina corn uh, yet to pollinate. That's a long ways out, probably most of it in that uh, late March, April time frame. So a lot of unknowns on the corn yet, uh, Michelle, and there's a big disconnect between what the uh, USDA says the uh, Brazil crop is and what CONAB says. So uh, we're going to still sort that out going forward. But it looks like if you believe CONAB that there's somewhere around 450 million bushels of corn that uh, needs to uh, have somebody else export it versus Brazil. Is it going to be the U.S., uh, Ukraine, or just who? Thanks. Don Rose, U.S. Commodities. We'll have more Ag Day coming up.